Talking about all eight members of the Gun Trace Task Force are now convicted felons. They are facing anywhere from 20 to 60 years in prison. The guilty verdict of the two officers on trial sparked reaction from all around the city. ABC 2 News' Brian Kubler covered the trial from the beginning to end, and he joins us now with more on what many are saying the day after. Brian. Kelly, the details were sorted, the corruption stunning, but all eyes are now on the Baltimore City Police Department and what comes next. While last night marked the end of a long trial, in many ways, acting U.S. Attorney Steve Shenning pointed out, it's also a beginning. I hope that this case um, will begin, um, I think, a, a, a long, difficult process of examining um, uh, how the police department polices. For three weeks, we listened to the explosive details of how two sergeants and six detectives assaulted the Fourth Amendment by robbing and extorting citizens while bilking tens of thousands of dollars from taxpayers in overtime fraud. But now, while the wound is open, some say it's the perfect time to make sure it's completely clean. The eyes of the nation are on Baltimore right now, especially after Freddie Gray. And um, this gives us, we have the perfect opportunity to make change. He said that to you. Yes, he did. NAACP Baltimore President Ronald Flamer says Commissioner-designate Daryl D'Souza delivered that very message to he and other activist leaders yesterday. Flamer saying he's confident in D'Souza's plan to address corruption, specifically in his new corruption unit designed to investigate specific officers who came up in testimony, as well as his random integrity tests and polygraph testing for officers in specialized units. Guards against further corruption, Flamer thinks, could work. I'm 100 percent, you know, supportive of what he is planning to do over the next several years. But it was made abundantly clear to the commissioner by Flamer and others. They will be watching closely, as will the nation. And while not indicating whether additional indictments are coming, we'll so will the acting U.S. Attorney of Maryland. We will investigate uh, bad policing or criminal policing if it occurs. We'll, if it occurs, it'll be investigated and, and, and officers will be indicted and they'll be brought into court and they'll be held accountable. Now, both Herschel and Taylor's sentencing has yet to be scheduled. The other six officers have already been scheduled for sentencing dates later this month through March.